Uh, it takes time to go. Okay, so we're live. That's great. Okay, okay so it's my pleasure to introduce Patrick Lecamon, um, who uh, will speak for himself, of course, but and we have already found out about his history with the uh, video and things that he's provided us. So Patrick, maybe I could start by asking you uh, to tell us a little bit about the Sustainable Design School and really the motivation for starting such an exciting um, operation uh, near your home in, in France. Okay, well, the, we, we began to, to think about the creation of a, of a school um, around the year 2010. And when I say we, in fact, there are two other uh, individuals. Uh, one, uh, Maurice Larivière, who himself was the founder of a very well-known uh, school uh, in, in France called Stripe College, where we, you know they began with, uh, I'm not sure, I think they had 13 students and, and um, they, they, they've gone up to you know something like 600. And um, the school was sold and he, being one of the um, the men responsible, uh, elected to, to, to go and not be joined into a large group. And he always, right from so many years ago, was very much into this notion of uh, sustainability and doing something for, for our planet, basically. But it was not something which was which was not taken that seriously. They probably thought, you know, Oh, uh, this this geezer is just um, you know he's got this thing, but <laughs> uh, you know it'll pass eventually. The second uh, person is somebody called Mark Van Pettigem, who is a very famous um, ar architect, who himself has done naval architect, who has done many many things in his life. What he's he created VPLP, which is a one of the top agencies uh, uh, in, in the world. And he also uh, launched into various uh, adventures, including going to Bangladesh after there had been this catastrophe which killed uh, several thousand fishermen. And he went there to help them out to create boats in order to make them safer. And then from that, he went into how do you recycle the materials and so on. And it became a huge uh, adventure. I've, on my side, automobile designer. Um, at the end of my career, I'd been involved in 60 million cars, uh, which is, if you were to put them bumper to bumper, that's 6,436 times around the world. And you know what? I've got a conscience. And, and really, I felt not so at ease in the, in the last few years as I saw how the world was going. So basically, we, met, we had met all three of us separately and then one day you know there was this happening we we met together and we elected to create a school and uh, we didn't want to create a school in in paris but we wanted to go to the the south of france because all three of us have some links uh, with the south of france and we were absolutely uh, we were adamant that we wanted to create an international uh, design school uh, probably that it would be uh, uh, taught in English, which in the English language, which it, which it is the case, and that we wanted to uh, do something where we would work with companies, always with that aim of promoting the notion of sustainability or working and helping out some of the, the companies on projects uh, and, and really uh, getting them uh, more and more uh, aware. So that led to the opening of our school in 2013. Fantastic. You mentioned the conscience uh, of, of an automobile designer that, that drove you to um, think about, I would guess, uh, the, the impact of Renault cars upon the world and, and automobiles in general. Um, could you say a little bit more about that? Is this something that troubled you or, or is Very it? Much so. yeah. Very much so. Um, uh, I, I, I can't say to you that it, uh, it troubled me for the first uh, 30 years uh, of my uh, 42 years uh, career. Um, uh, but in the last 10, 10 to 15 years, uh, yes, I began to be uh, very much uh, uh, conscious of pollution. 
uh, I was uh, very much uh, concerned about uh, the materials that we use, uh, the uh, the fact that a lot of them were not uh, recyclable material, and and um, I did try to take some initiative on my side to to uh, promote recyclable materials. We very much pushed for also development some of the projects uh, of um, um, variants of something a, a, a vehicle called Tweezy, uh, which is a you know a handy two two seating uh, two seater electric vehicle. Um, but all in all, I became more and more uh, involved in in, um, in in reading in, in reading up, you know, because I, I realized that I knew so little about, about materials, about uh, recyclability, and about what do you do? Uh, what what are the um, uh, what would I have to acquire in terms of knowledge? Where should I go and look look up for this information? Who to whom should I talk? Uh, and this led to, you know, talking to uh, Mark Van Pettigem, the, 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 the architect, who himself is extremely oriented and has been for, you know, decades uh, in, in uh, all that is related to eco design and, and sustainability. You know, he's the man behind something called um, Ocean Wing, which is going to equip this boat, which is going to transport the Ariane rockets to the Guyane, uh, and it will. It is a, a, a sail, you know, an automatic sail. So he's very much oriented to, towards that, and I must say that he has had an enormous amount of influence on me. And so we we worked, we prepared, we worked for three years together uh, before the actual school uh, was open. And it is now in its uh, seventh year, and it, there are, uh, I can say that 95% of our students have got jobs, uh, which is one of the criteria that we had to, uh, um, uh, to, to uh, actually uh, quote to a, an, um, an inquiry that was made about whether or not you know, we, we could uh, award uh, diplomas and masters and so on and so forth. So yes. Um, very much aware, very much of a growing, uh, uh, you know, this 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 con concern, this almost this guilt feeling was something that built up over the years. Fantastic! What what a great record the school has. Ninety five percent employment it is an enviable um, yeah. enviable record for any school. Can you tell us a little bit about the work of the school? Um, yeah, that maybe the what you teach specifically, which is peculiar to to the Sustainable Design School, which maybe isn't found in other schools of art and design? Okay, well, first of all, the, the school doesn't have any uh, special departments. There is no, you know, graphics department, uh, product design, or, or whatever. It is, there is one, uh, one tuition. We have the particularity of having uh, uh, probably more teachers, more professors and teachers than students. Um, uh, and that is because we still are a rather small school. We are integrated in the uh, University of Côte d'Azur, so it's a, it's a large French uh, university. Um, we, ha we have a uh, five-year uh, um, course. We also had last year our first uh, PhD, and we offer also uh, P P PhDs uh, uh, now, now, now today. Uh, the course five years. The first year is very much of a, a, a general uh, foundation course, um, and uh, we we do put quite a bit of emphasis on the um, what, what you call uh, uh, on drawing. You know, we, we we feel that drawing is extremely important um, because we we believe that uh, being able to get this flow. Uh, natural flow between the, the brain and the hand that, that uh, once you can draw, you are not thinking constantly about the perspective, but it's more a means of one communication for sure. But I find that um, I, you know, I always often say that I, you know, I think whilst drawing, and drawing is uh, with a new stencil, and it can be also an eraser because you know, when I've worked on projects where you're trying to go to the minimum. And then you find that using a lot more of the eraser than anything else. Now, 
uh, first year is a foundation course, and then there are the, the three the three years, and I'll, I'll go into the, the themes. And then, of course, the final year where our students uh, have been asked to, you know, are asked to write a thesis on a subject, and then um, they will spend their time actually doing their diploma uh, project. Now, what is taught in our school? So we have people who come from uh, various uh, um, various uh, disciplines, be it in design, of course, but it might be also in sociology, it might be in architecture, it might be in, in materials. Um, so uh, th there is an awful lot of influences coming into, uh, into our course. We also um, have uh, an enormous amount of uh, projects that we do with uh, various companies, uh, very different type of companies. You know, we we uh, we might work for a, an auto manufacturer, but not doing car design, but peripheral work. You know, we've worked on on projects in Brazil for um, uh, recycling uh, auto parts. Uh, we've worked on. Uh, uh, um, a, a project in India where we were uh, imagining a, a growth potential which led also to increasing employment. All of this related to um, uh, a, a, a totally different uh, approach. We've worked with cities. I remember we, were, we worked for a city which is like a dormitory town of Geneva where people just leave their cars there, the, the, the place over the years has become a giant uh, car park. And at one particular moment, the council said, we've lost the soul of our city. Uh, we just have a, you know, a car park. And then the, uh, the mayor, a little bit secretly, I have to say, but he called on us rather than other people to uh, get a team to work on what could we do to change fundamentally this city that it becomes uh, a small city, okay? But, that it becomes, uh, it, it recuperates, it gets back to its to its foundations. And we had a wonderful uh, head of um, the uh, the project there who had marvelous idea. One of the things which he did, for example, is to go and look at the names of the street, because in the names of the street, uh, the history was there. And you know, it, it might be, um, oh, I don't know, wh whatever the name, but because of that, you, you could trace back the history. It might have lost it totally, the meaning over the years, but suddenly it became something very, uh, very much uh, living. And so we made a, a proposal on a plan, a 25 year plan, uh, in, in order to get back, you know, get uh, uh, the city back, back on, uh, on its history course, rather than what he had lost being a car park. Um, we have we've uh, worked on plastic odyssey which is a with a, a couple of uh, naval officers who are now actually operational and we worked on uh, re the recycling of plastics and picking up of plastics uh, and get going on a tour uh, encouraging people to go and pick up the plastics in the fields and on the beaches and actually this is maybe a a, 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 a bit of a touchy course but actually to use the plastic to make petrol, uh, and, and which is quite feasible. It's not nothing, uh, you know, it's not no, nothing magic. But it's the idea of establishing, as the ship is traveling around the world, establishing ecosystems and a stemic approach whereby when they would leave the shore, there would be an established uh, industry recycling these plastic bottles, you know, uh, these these sorts of things, you know, which uh, which are in fact, uh, you know, extremely in some countries, like for example in in Yemen, the the the, the whole place is covered with these uh, with these uh, um, plastic bottles, which takes us to the notion of progress. These plastic bottles were introduced in in Yemen, and it and it made a child um, uh, the death of children had a huge impact on reducing that, but it actually left the country covered with these unrecyclable plastics. So, I, I mean, I can go on for two hours, you know, I've got so many different projects, very different. We've worked with, with, uh, uh, we've worked uh, with um, uh, people like Decathlon, we've, we've, 
We've worked with big companies, uh, very large corporates uh, companies, and each time trying to find a new a new angle. And one of the big things that we do is, first of all, making sure that we the question was right, you know, the question which they ask us. So I stop there because you know it, 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 I'm so enthusiastic about what we do that I could talk for hours. <laughs> Your, your enthusiasm is, is very infectious and, and very hopeful sounding. Um, we only have time for maybe one more short short answer, but um, are you hopeful that design can help with the intractable problems the world faces? Um, I am absolutely convinced, absolutely convinced that the world needs designers. Our approach, of course, it has to be designers are, that are prepared to uh, introduce a structured approach. Uh, that they have this creativity, but of course, and that that should be developed. And yes, you know, the, all those things about out of the box, but it has to be also uh, linked to analysis, to also um, uh, work, being able to work with people coming from different, uh, uh, different backgrounds. And what, this is what we do in the projects. You know, we create these groups, uh, different age, a lot of our schools, by the way, is made up, quite a few members of our schools are people who are 30 or 40 years old, you know, who are engineers or architects or sociologists, and then they come and do a, a degree in our, in, a master you know, in, in our school. So, yes, I am totally convinced, absolutely convinced, and we've been involved in so many projects where people said, well, they, they thought that designers basically were stylists, you know, that we designed those uncomfortable sofas. But not, not, I mean, we do much more than that. And uh, so the, in terms of the general approach, in terms of the management approach, you know, I'm not, not afraid of that word. Uh, I find that a lot of the former students, diploma students, are going into companies and in fact playing some pretty senior roles, you know. And that is, that I myself was a bit surprised. Well, Patrick, thank you very much for speaking to us. That's a, a really good note to end this interview on. And we wish you all the best of luck with your school. One day, maybe in, when the world changes, it will be possible to have a visit. But uh, <laughs> yes. for now, we have to say goodbye. And thank you very much. All the best. <laughs>